Hey guys, welcome back to another series review. I'm gonna go turn off my air conditioner because I forgot to do that. Okay. Series review, the OA Netflix um, show, two seasons. Not going to be a third, and I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so yeah, character list time. Um, Prairie. I mean, she's the main character, so like, I liked her. Um, there are some points where I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, you know, Dr. Hunter, he can go die in a fucking hole and I wouldn't care. Um, Buck, I don't know, we just, he's cool and all, but like, we didn't really get to know him that much. So like, yeah. Um, Elizabeth, I don't know, I, I think there's a part of me that will always like her, but at the same time it's like really weird, the situation, but like, I don't know, all these characters are iffy. Steve, he needs to pick a side if he believes this goddamn story, or if he thinks she's crazy, like, he needs to pick a fucking side, sorry, but... Frenchie, he also needs to pick a fucking side. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I do respect him because he does play lacrosse. I do respect him because he does play lacrosse. And if you don't know, I do too. That was... Homer, um, unlike all the other characters, I actually did like him. And he's not iffy. Um, at first, he was a bit like, hmm, dude, seriously, but, uh, but, you know, it was just kind of the new character, you know, thing. Um, Rachel, we didn't get to know Rachel, like, a lot, a lot, but I did, you know, like her. Um, Scott, mm, at first, hated him. Now love him and he's really fun and he really is funny jess once again we don't know that shit ton of about, about jess so like it's kind of i don't know um nancy toxic um got annoyed by her abel I feel like because Nancy's toxic, he kind of was like put in this backseat and he wanted to help and he wanted to do the right thing, but he just couldn't. Um, so, yes. Mo, they're just, for a lot of these characters, it's just not enough there to put out. I will say season one, I loved season one way more than I did season two. I mean the last episode of season two was the only real episode where I was in love and really did like it. All the other episodes I'm like, um, okay. Would I rewatch this show? Maybe. Um, I know I'm like bashing on it a lot. I liked it, but like, I don't know, there were so many things that I would have done differently and I would have liked better. Um, but, you know, you can't change it. Um, I will say this was not what I was expecting. I don't know what the frick I was expecting going into this. I don't think I was expecting anything, but um, I really did. I, I liked it. Um, very interesting story, very different take on things. Like I said, I loved season one, in love with it. Um, season two, I don't know. Um, last episode of season two, like I said, was probably my favorite out of all of season two. Um, I will say whatever his face is like black dude that came in season two that lives on a boat that talks to him out. don't remember his fucking name what was the purpose of that whole ass storyline 
other than like probably one episode where he was with prairie what the fuck was that purpose of that storyline i don't understand i don't i i don't know that i don't know it's useless and i don't I feel like the show could have done ooh, so much more if they've taken that storyline out and put more time for the boys or for Prairie or for Homer back on the screen um, if they have taken that the whole storyline out because I don't understand. I don't. Um, but yeah. Um... That's kind of honestly it um, without me <laughs> repeating myself again. Um, yeah, I feel like it is a show that everyone should watch at least once, but it's not. I know it's not going to be one of those shows where everyone's in love with it. I think it's very much a show that definitely tailors to a certain group of people. And I think I fall somewhat in that group of people of like the multiverse and this kind of supernatural side of things um and this like mystery side of things but I don't think it fully 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 is me and I don't fully fit into that category of people that this show is made for and I think that's why I didn't absolutely fall in love with it um did finish in like two days but that because it's a short show. Um, am I pissed that there isn't season three? Kind of. One, because I feel like there's so many things unanswered and, you know, whatever, and they could maybe redeem themselves after season two, but at the same time, after season two, I understand why there wasn't a season three. And it wasn't ending on this big cliffhanger because you know what happened. Um, you know, you know what happened. Prairie and Hunter and Dr. Hunter um, jumped. You know, you don't know if Homer did. Um, but then you know that Scott jumped through too. You know, there was that whole plan and he was there and he found Prairie and he knew it was Prairie and all this. So, like you knew what that ending was about um i did like that we finally got you know one of the boys and you know one of these people that she's telling her story to and the people that these stories are about kind of meeting for the first time um and that kind of what the fuck moment um yeah so like i said I liked it, probably wouldn't rewatch it, um, but you know, you never know. So um, if you guys have seen the show or agree or disagree on anything that I say, make sure you guys tell me down below because I love hearing your guys' thoughts. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Peace.